everybody, it's Christina of Crafty Paws. I wanted to come on and share an album that I made for my parents who recently came back from a vacation and my mom came back and wanted me to quickly make an album, like in less than a week's time, so that she could share her vacation with her church friends who get together Monday evenings once a month. And so I rushed through and put together this album and I wanted to come on and share it with you guys before I delivered it to her tomorrow. I will say that a big part of making an album for something like this is about editing the pictures. So there were hundreds, <laughs> hundreds of pictures. My dad got an Apple iPhone uh, this past year and he just went nuts taking pictures. So just whittling it down to like 130 pictures was a big deal. Then I had them all printed out using a coupon at Walgreens for 10 cents a picture. And I printed out a lot of them and then edited and all of that stuff. And uh, this is the result. So first off, the album is a fabric album with a little window cutout that I picked up at Michael's using a 50% off coupon. I think I got this for like $10 way back when it has been in my stash because I have another album that I am planning on making, but this took precedence. So <laughs> this first page is just kind of setting it up uh, this paper collection is actually one from my stash that I had picked up for an album that I'm hoping to make still for my sister, me, and my uh, niece for our trip to Ireland and Scotland. But like I said, this took precedence, so I used this paper pad. This is fantastic for vacation, travel vacations. It's by Craftsmith, and it's called Travel the World. And all of the papers in this album came from this 12 by 12 paper pad. I loved it. It was perfect in terms of color and well you'll see so this first page it had a background paper that said admit one and I scratched it off and wrote three because my parents went with my sister who she's such an angel she did, drove thousands of miles to show them around this area out in the west of western part of the United States so this is Red Rock Canyon this is one of the cut aparts it says we love this city but really they weren't in the city areas very much so I cut the city out and I thought this looked great as just a little cut apart this was another cut apart and I just journaled down here starting our adventure just outside Las Vegas but in actuality you'll see where the vacation really started which was here my parents take an annual trip out to Los Angeles uh, every fall and they visit our family cemetery plots my dad had bought 12 together and my grandparents, my dad's parents are both buried there. So they make that kind of pilgrimage once a year and they gather, um, these are my two other uncles, my dad's other brothers. This is a whole bunch of family members that came to the gathering at Rose Hills. Um, those are the uncles, aunts, another aunt, my mom, my sister, various cousins, and then uh, grandkids of uh, or great grandkids, I guess, of my grandparents. And this was one of the papers. It's a 12 by 12 of a map of the United States. And I drew a little dashed line indicating the flight path. <laughs> I don't know, I'm guessing. I just used a paper plate outline to get this arch um, from Atlanta to Los Angeles. And then I fussy cut out one of the airplanes from this paper here. This is also from the paper pad. It's just like a green background with airplanes and dashed lines showing flight paths and I seam them together to make this kind of double page spread uh, and this album is all eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper. I wanted to use this album that would be easier for my parents to hold as they're sharing their pictures with their friends um, just because I didn't want it to get too like bulky or burdensome for them to handle. Uh, my parents are in their 80s and late 70s so I thought this was a better size for them. And these other pictures are kind of the beginnings or kind of an overview of some of the sites that they saw. But basically it's pictures of my parents in various locations, uh, Red Rock Canyon. Uh, well, you'll see all the others, but um, these little puffy stickers are from uh, Heidi Swap. I think it's like from a planner sticker set. It says live today, you make me happy. And it has these little location, uh, I forget what these are called, but you know what I mean. These are the things that show the locations of different sites that they visited. And I did some journaling, but I really don't like my handwriting, so I did this on my computer and typed it out and printed it out. 
So it's the first part is about the visiting the cemetery and visiting with family. And the second part is just an introduction to the Wild West adventures. Um, this next layout is the Valley of Fire. And I took cues basically from the pictures themselves in terms of colors or uh, from the papers that I chose. And each double page spread uses uh, the same background papers. And these are pictures <coughs> of my parents at the Valley of Fire. And I just think the rock formations are just so cool. These layered stickers, well, the paper ones actually, um, I believe come from, I used all of them, but I believe it came from a My Mind's Eye collectible uh, sticker set. As you can see, I used every single sticker. And then this one over here is from a fabric uh, sticker set. And I believe that one also is my mind's eye i'm not sure i will link in the description box below to my blog post the accompanying blog post and hopefully you'll get a sense of all of the sticker sets that i use but these are really very simple i might have added a little bit of twine to some of them or combined some this is from a heidi swap wonder and then this little camera that i combined with this layered paper sticker uh, but basically i wanted the pictures to be the highlight and have all of the background and the thickers that I use to kind of be supporting cast members, as it were. This next layout is the next kind of portion of their vacation. This is along the I-70 or Interstate 70 Highway, and um, it's just beautiful all along there. But my sister, bless her soul, uh, was the driver the entire time. My parents, as I said, are seniors and in unfamiliar roads, it's just not as safe for them to drive. So my sister volunteered to be their uh, host or guide and drive all that way um, through Nevada, California, Arizona, Utah. Um, she's just an angel. And this is at actually a Carl's Jr. that had this big mural photo of the location as it was, you know, I think 50 something years ago. Uh, these buildings are no longer there, but this E in the hills actually still is there apparently just outside this restaurant. And then this was like a roadside stop. This is actually a cut apart from the paper collection from the paper pad. And these are some stickers. I believe they're from like a soft spoken, um, you know, one of these Mambi uh, soft spoken sticker sets. But again, I used all of them. So that was that, and then I journaled a little bit on here just describing my sister being the driver. This is the beginning of Arches National Park, and just, I think the pictures are so breathtaking, and these are my parents being silly, just making kind of like a heart between them <laughs> with their arms. Uh, this is another cut apart. These are more of those fabric stickers, and uh, just the scenery, just spectacular in my opinion. Then here's uh, more of those thickers. I spelled out Nash Arches National Park. And these beautiful sunflower stickers are actually just from Dollar Tree sticker sets. And again, as you can see, I used all of them. I only had a few left and these were perfect. I kind of cut away the pots and water pitchers and things that were underneath some of these just so that they could have the flowers kind of, you know, add some color and sparkle to this side of the layout. Then because like I said, my parents took hundreds of pictures. I knew they wanted to have a good representation of all of the beautiful sites that they saw. So what I did was actually added to the album some pocket sleeves. I use these We Are Memory Keepers. Uh, this is an eight and a half by 11 and it has six pockets. So 12 pictures can fit on each page. And I had picked these up a while back at Tuesday morning especially, you know, specifically for this purpose, not necessarily for this album, but to try and fit in as many pictures in an album. And uh, I also use some of these, uh, what are those sticker kinds of things that you can um, press out the letters. This isn't actually from that. I think it's called a Dymo machine or something. I don't know. But this was actually from a sticker set that I had in my stash. And by the way, I don't know that I bought any of these embellishments. These were all gifted to me from crafty friends over the years and I've just had them in my stash. So I just dug into my stash and pulled out everything that I had for embellishments that I thought would work nicely with this kind of Western motif. Um, and again, just more pictures of my parents, my sister, and just the spectacular background. These monuments are just incredible that 
these were all formed during like when the tectonic plates moved, when the rivers came through this area, when there were glaciers. So it formed natural bridges. And then when the bridges collapsed, they would end up forming like little monuments. And I just think it's spectacular. And then the cloud formations, I mean, it looks like a cartoon, like someone had drawn them in or something. It's so like they're puffy and white and beautiful. Um, and again, I just added more of those little stickers here and there, love, happiness, relaxation. This next section is from Bryce Canyon. They're at the Natural Bridge, which is this incredible formation. There's a hole here that's like a tunnel through. And then above, you can see the beautiful canyon walls, the trees. I mean, it's just spectacular. And you can see my dad here with his little uh, iPhone camera. <laughs> he had such a ball taking pictures. And this is a cut apart, then more of these kinds of Dymo whatever stickers. And I love the paper of this. This was again from that same paper collection, but um, these were all in blues and yellows and greens. And I thought these word stickers would coordinate nicely with them. And then I had in my stash from some, as a gift, uh, these wonderful Prima buttons that were perfect for this because this is actually the sunset at Bryce Canyon. It's a national park and it's just spectacular. There, you can see they're a little bundled up there because it's still cold at sunset. This composition I thought was so lovely with the flowers and the canyon, the yellows and the reds, and then the little white flecks on the top. I'm not sure what that is. If it's just the rock, you know, the different minerals in the rocks creating these different pig, uh, pigments, but it's just stunning. And this place was called Rainbow Point. Um, so this button was perfect, it said sunset, and then you'll see sunrise over here, but these pictures were spectacular of Bryce Canyon at sunrise, and this was just after a storm, so you can see the clouds there. I had some vellum clouds with some stitching that I thought were cute and could be added to as little extra embellishments. I also added a couple more of these Mambi dimensional stickers and some buttons from my stash just to coordinate with the background paper that has this beautiful wood grain and the little cream circles. So that was supposed to be a double page layout. But again, I wanted to include more pictures from the, for them at, from Bryce Point. So that's the main layout. And then they have this additional 12 pictures. Um, I just love my dad's smile here. He's so happy. Um, and then this again is more pictures of Bryce Canyon. Look how deep that is, just amazing, beautiful, beautiful. Um, and here, sunrise was at 6.44 a.m., so that's why I put the little clock here too. They were up bright and early. This next area is just spectacular. I mean, one scene after another is just amazing. But look, I mean, this looked like a Dali painting, or, I mean, I don't know, it's like, it's so hard to conceive that this was all created by water. This is the stairs that they had to come down to get down into this area, which is the Lower Antelope Canyon. And uh, this is old stickers that I had in my stash. This is mom and dad. Uh, that was from, I think, like an old scrapbook uh, kit. And these stickers back here that says absolutely stunning, extraordinary, phenomenal, fantastic, awesome. Those are Heidi Swap stickers. They're clear so you can see the paper through them, but then they have this gold lettering for this these awesome words. Um, and then on top of that, I had these Heidi Swap chipboard uh, stickers, and then this is a puffy sticker also from Heidi Swap. So this page has a lot of Heidi Swap on it in addition to these uh, thickers that I actually ended up coloring up with a Copic marker because it was a kind of a lighter, um, was actually this, Amy Tangerine American Crafts. And you can see how light these letters are. So I colored them up so that it would coordinate better with this layout and the pictures in the layout. And I mounted a couple of the pictures that had my parents in them with this blue because my dad was wearing a blue shirt uh, so I thought it coordinated nicely. And I like the co contrast or complementary colors of blue and orange together. So I thought that looked nice. Um, then this layout, is, now they're finally in Page, Arizona. And they went to a lunch place called Big John's Barbecue. And they had this ginormous smoker. I mean, I've only caught the little part of it here. But they had one of those little cutout picture things of a cowboy and a horse. And my dad stuck his head through there. And uh, it, he was having such a great time. He 
He said it reminded him of when he was a child in Korea. He had always, uh, he watched Western movies uh, from the United States when he was a little kid and always, always wanted to be a cowboy. So sort of wish fulfilled. <laughs> uh, this is another cut apart from the paper collection. This is one of those, this is my mind's eye layered sticker set. It was this one here. I cut away a little bit of the banner. And then this is one of those fabric stickers from that collection. This is like a layered paper collection with some vellum combined. And so that's from here. This uh, zigzag, which I thought was kind of nice to coordinate with the Colorado River that's in these pictures. Um, I thought that was kind of a nice indication of that. This is a speech bubble and it actually had the vellum on top of the words, but then you could hardly read the words. So I actually took that off and put it behind. So it's kind of more of like a shadowing effect. Uh, and this says how sweet it is. Uh, and this is my dad overlooking the edge at the Horseshoe Bend uh, by the Colorado River. And it's amazing, you can see this little river here and just imagine how long it took to create this incredible valley, just carving it you know, year after year through the stone to make this incredible you know, feature. Then this was their last stop. They were in Las Vegas and I didn't have Las Vegas stickers left over. So I cut these letters out using my Lawn Fawn um, Coles Alphas. And I just cut those out of glitter cardstock, more of those fabric uh, little banners. This is a picture of my parents in front of the Chihuly uh, floral glass sculpture. You know, 15 to 20,000 people visit this sculpture every day. It's like covers 2,100 square feet. It's got 2,000 blossoms in there. It's just spectacular. And then right after that, they went to go see the Cirque du Soleil Osho, which is the one where they're diving in the water. It's spectacular. So this is my mom at the ticket counter. This is my parents in the theater waiting for the show to start. They're, they're in the third row. They were so excited. This is in front of the uh, gift shop. This is in the Osho Theater where they have the sculptures by Richard uh, McDonald. And he had done all these incredible sculptures inspired by the Osho performers. Uh, and this is where there's like a photo op place and my parents got into the O. <laughs> and then this is the last page. It's just kind of commemorating the whole trip. It's my parents and my sister, and I had these little buttons in my stash, and this actual button collection, it's got buttons and banners. It's from the My Mind's Eye, The Sweetest Thing, wood chip and buttons, and I used this delightful, I added some twine here on the edges. Uh, I added a couple of other buttons from this collection just to add some highlights of yellow. And then I had this little button, which is a deer on it from a little rural shop that I had visited actually in uh, South Carolina, I think. And this is a Recollections metal sticker that says travel ticket good for a lifetime of adventure. And that's it. That's my album. Thanks so much for joining me through this flip through. I hope you guys are having a wonderful crafty day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.